this can be a potential image based question for you in the exam and as sir already told you please understand the fact that there is going to be no change so far as the ventricular septum thickness is concerned yes today we are going to talk about this the integrated lecture section in the new rapid revision 2.0 Hey there, I am Subhav Ramdani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to all of this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. Before we get started, I would like to say that all the things I mentioned in this video are my own opinions after using the platform. With that being said, Preplato just released the Rapid Revision 2.0 update and I covered my initial thoughts on the new features about it, so you can find it linked somewhere here. So I watched some videos of the new integrated subject section of the Rapid Revision 2.0 and here's my full review on it. So first we'll talk about the things that I like. I'll take you through my journey of using the platform of using the videos and then we'll shift to the things I feel that can be improved. So let's just cover the basics first. So in the integrated subjects section you can find the topics listed by systems. You have the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, renal system, GIT, CNS and endocrinology system. All of these lectures are about 1.5 hours to 3.5 hours in duration. So how they are structured as that they are divided into various diseases inside that systems. So it is divided into pathology and medicine. So these topics are covered by Dr. Sparsh Gupta who teaches pathology and Dr. Deepak Marwa who teaches medicine. So all of you must be having questions like this. I mean, I'm very curious and excited to find out about this. How will it be? Will one teacher explain some part and the other the other part or will they be having a discussion on the same topic or will they be discussing a question? I just can't wait to find out how that video lecture looks. So let me tell you how the lecture pans out. So first we have Dr. Sparsh Gupta who discusses the pathology of the disease. So let's say for example we are studying about pneumonia. So he will talk about the microorganisms involved, the classification, the histology picture and everything else related to pathology. So after covering all this Dr. Deepak Mawa discusses about the same disease. So for example in pneumonia he will discuss how the patient presents or what is the management of the patient. We will discuss the various scales in the diagnosis of the patient. Also discuss the chest x-rays and compare it with the normal. So everything about medicine is discussed by Dr. Deepak Mawa then. So then both of the teachers discuss some high yield MCQs of the same disease in the same topic so you can get a better understanding of it. So how and when to watch these videos? One thing I can say for sure that if you're used to watching videos at a 2x speed, you might want to slow down on this one because these teachers are trying to cover all the high yield information in the least amount of time possible while still providing a good grasp of knowledge. Specifically for these integrated subject lectures, you need some basic knowledge. Just like the name says, it's rapid revision. While for other subjects in rapid revision, you can maybe watch the rapid revision as a first go if you have not covered the subject before or if you are short on time. But these subjects are more a class discussion rather than a teaching. So I would suggest you know about the topic beforehand either from a book or from the normal video or even from your class in medical school. You need to have some basic knowledge to take part in this class discussion because as I said this feels more like a class discussion than a teaching video. So what can this section be used for? Why use this integrated subjects of rapid revision? So personally, I found this to solidify the knowledge I already had. So for example, in pathology, I learned about heart failure, the various stages of myocardial infarction, post myocardial infarction, and how the disease progresses to heart failure in the first place. And from medicine, I know about the clinical aspect of heart failure, how the patient presents, the diagnosis, the various enzymes which are elevated, the management. So these lectures will help you connect the dots of pathology and medicine. So this will help you look at the same information but from a different angle, from a different point of view. So it's more like a class discussion about a disease rather than a teaching about the disease. So it will help you get a better hold on the subject and the disease. So where is this content taken from? So Dr. Sparsh Gupta always refers to the Robin's latest edition while discussing a disease or a controversial topic while Dr. Deepak Marwa always refers to the latest edition of Harrison's for medicine. So how this goes? 
they don't cover all the base knowledge about the topic they only cover the high yield topics the topics you need for the exams most so that's why you'll see that these lectures are very fast paced they are very very high yield and they'll help you the most in covering those questions in exams now let's come to some things which i think can be improved and which can be added in the future so first thing i noticed is that these videos do not have their own notes or slides so like other rapid revision videos where you can revise the same topics by the notes or slides these videos you'll have to rewatch again to revise them as i said this feels more like a class discussion than a teaching video so i can see that why there are no notes or lectures in these but i know that some students still want to revise this class discussion with the help of notes and slides so it would be good if preplad added them next thing i notice is that like other sections of rapid revision this does not have its own question bank so literally the only way to revise these lectures would be either to take your own notes or rewatch the lecture again so i would really like if preplad would add a new question bank related to this integrated subject lectures and that would make things so 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 much easier so the third thing is that i really love the categorization by system wise and not subject wise and you know i'm a big fan of system wise approach rather than a subject wise approach as i've talked about in in a previous video however it would be nice if more systems are added like hematology dermatology and subsequently covering all the systems in an integrated fashion that would be awesome so my final thoughts are this I really love the new section of integrated subjects because it felt more like a class discussion rather than a teaching video. It adds that different dimension, a different aspect of studying by video lectures. Honestly, I absolutely enjoyed watching these lectures more than the lectures I usually watch which are the normal video lectures or the normal rapid revision. This integrated fashion of teaching is much 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 better and I really like the class discussion point of view rather than a teaching point of view. But I also feel that they can improve more in this aspect by providing the notes, slides and definitely a question bank so we don't have to rewatch this lecture rather we can revise by following the question bank or the notes. Apart from that don't forget that you need some basic knowledge to take part in this class discussion and this is definitely way 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 more engaging than any other videos I have seen in Preplada. If you gained anything from this video then don't forget to give it a like and if you absolutely loved it then smash that subscribe button. And as always stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine.